So we're very excited here at Dundrum today. We are with Jason Bale, aka if you don't know, living under a rock. It is the Hughes Master. Very nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, very well. Yeah, looking forward to it. Now, one question: This time of the month, 24th of January, everybody is falling off their New Year's resolutions. A little bit of advice for everyone to get back on track. What I would say: Join us on Monday. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, is it? Because we're doing the world's biggest GP yes. talk. What I would say is this: It all depends on what approach somebody had at the beginning, and often the beginning of January is the worst time to do something. We kicked off the world's biggest juice teaser on the 5th of Jan, deliberately on the 1st or the 2nd, so you can take it down. But many people want to change their entire life on the 1st. Yes. So what they do is they have a disproportionate amount of junk food and everything else, and then they over-exercise on the 1st, or the 2nd to be more specific. They uh, push they, out everything that they think is in pleasure. They're trying to learn a new language, yeah. try to start a new business, try all in one day, and that's where it falls flat. So it's quite normal for I suppose, unfortunately, the majority of people fall by the wayside within 14 days of their biggest resolution. Whereas now, if you make a, if you resolve to do something now, you're more serious. You're not just jumping on the yeah. New Year bandwagon. And you don't wait until Monday, you don't wait until New Year, you don't wait until anything, you just think, right, I need to change my life tomorrow. And you do small incremental changes. You can either do a three day, five day, seven day pure juice or change your breakfast literally every morning for five days a week. So you can just start to cut down, maybe 33% of your diet becomes plant-based vegan. You don't have to go full on, but what I would say, I'm an addiction psychologist by trade, it sounds like a cell, but you must read the books first, or on the app get the coaching, because without the right frame of mind, what happens is it just feels like a diet. And that's where the challenge comes And I hate the word diet, and anybody who follows me on Facebook will know that this month I've been doing 31 days of small changes for that very okay. reason. Um, well, so on that small change principle then, the small change I, I would then put out yeah. to your viewers really would be change your breakfast for five days a week, not even seven, because Saturdays and Sundays are different. Who doesn't like a bit of scrambled egg and a bit of orange juice? Do you hear that? Change juice. your breakfast for five days a week, Just okay? five days a week. Just try it for one month. That's 20 days. That's all it is. I'm living on juice for 28 days, nothing else. So to change your breakfast just for 20 days in one month, it's not a big deal. But when I say change your breakfast, don't just have your breakfast, just go, right, I'll have a juice at seven. And actually 10 o'clock means mid-morning brunch, right? Have now, a big, huge breakfast. <laughs> what, what I mean is breakfast, you're, you're going to have yeah. fresh extracted vegetable juice with some avocado up until 12 noon. You're not allowed to eat anything that's not live okay. up until 12 noon for five days a week. And that is going to make a radical difference to your life. If you want to take one more change, then I would say don't eat after 8 p.m. five days a week. You know I mean? So small changes, change your breakfast, don't eat after eight. We'll be implementing these, we'll certainly be following you. Welcome to Dublin. Thank you, yeah, I love it. And congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Thanks. Bye.